Hi, we're here at the Wildwood Conservation Area just outside of St. Mary's. We're going to do a bathymetric survey of the Wildwood Reservoir. A bathymetric survey is similar to a topographic survey, except instead of measuring heights above the land, we're measuring depths below the water. Traveling this way, you'll see that it, the color's going to change, and that you're coming in on number two. And then as you come around on nine, just down the middle through the dark. It's the North Shore. Yeah, okay, I know, I know this little outlet, I like to Cottages are over along here. It's a nice little, it's just a little bay, the first little bay there. Yep, so yep. we're, we'll, we'll be starting right there. Okay. Well, the Wildwood Reservoir was constructed in 1965 and we thought it's time to have a, a modern view of what the bottom of the reservoir looks like. Hydrologists will use this information to refine their estimates of how much water is in the reservoir at any given time as well as how much more it can hold. This is the Wildwood Reservoir. For context, this is Highway 7 with Stratford to the northeast, London to the southwest, and St. Mary's a few minutes west. Familiar with the area will recognize the conservation area and campground and of course the dam. Bathymetry depth measurements were conducted over three days this summer. We already had a good idea of where the deepest areas were located so we could make the best use of our time on the water. We used a GPS on the boat to help guide us along our planned route, similar to driving in a car but without the bossy voice. This is a slightly rotated view of the reservoir looking to the northeast. You can just make out the highway and the dam in the lower left hand corner. Here we can see an overlay of the locations where the measurements were taken. This information integrates easily with our existing mapping so we can easily visualize these locations as depths. This map shows depths as a continuous surface with each half meter shown as a different color. We can see the shallow areas in red along the banks and in the marina and the deeper areas in blue in front of the dam. This view is looking downstream to the northwest over the dam with the highway running along the top. The depths shown here range from about 1 meter in red to about 14 meters in dark blue. That's about 3 feet to 45 feet deep. Here are some closer views. This is looking southwest. The day use area and the marina are just visible in the foreground. Again, this is looking over the highway and the dam, but instead upstream to the southeast. This is a close-up view of the marina, looking north with part of the campground visible near the top of the frame. Here we are back to the full-length view of the reservoir. Again, we can see the shallow areas in red at the upstream end and along the banks as it gradually gets deeper towards the dam. You know that we go out and take these bathymetry surveys and combine that with other surveys that we've done of the land that's not underwater and we can get a very good and accurate idea of just how much water is available for storage in the event of a flood and also for the amount of storage that we have to add water to the system during the dry months sort of in the summer which is another major function of Wildwood Reservoir. It's important in water quality analysis to know what the volume of the lake is because it's directly connected to the nutrient loading on the lake and that's something which has been studied in the past and which we will continue to want to improve our knowledge of.